afternoon. It's Sunday, March 27th, 2022, and it's time for episode 59 of Dinner from the Dining Car. Today, we're doing a recipe that was served on the New York Central as an appetizer on some of their trains like the 20th Century Limited, the Empire State Limited, and a couple of others. But uh, we're going to be making a dinner out of it, just for giggles. It's the brochette of shrimp with a maitre d'hotel butter. So here's what you're going to need for the brochette of shrimp. First thing you're going to need, duh, shrimp. Now I have, you're going to need 12 shrimp per serving, about a half a pound. Now these are the uh, 20, 25 to 40 count. And I buy them already pre-cooked. I just need to detail them. You're going to need to, if you buy shrimp raw, you need to cook it, peel it, detail it, and devein it. All I need to do with this is detail it. You're also going to need bacon. Eight strips. Now I know this gets to be this in this day and age. I don't know about where you guys are here. It's getting expensive. Uh, I went with Oscar Mayer because it was on sale. I normally would go with something else, but we're going to try our luck here. Um, what you need to do with these eight slices is roast them on a cookie sheet at 400 degrees for about 10 minutes. You're only cooking them enough to loosen them up because the skewers, let me get into that in a minute. Let me get you the rest of the ingredients. You're going to need an eighth of a teaspoon of salt, a pinch of fresh ground pepper, you're going to need two eggs, beaten. You're going to need a cup of our old friend breadcrumbs. And you're going to need uh, sliced bread, toasted. Now, we're going to be use, using a nice sourdough cracked wheat. And we're going to take two of the center slices, because they're a little larger, and we'll be uh, cutting those in half and toasting them. And you need two tablespoons of the butter, the seasoned butter, which I'm about to tell you what goes into that. Anyway, what you're going to do, like I said, you're going to take your bacon, you're going to roast it at 400 degrees for 10 minutes. Uh, on a cookie sheet, make sure it's a cookie sheet that has walls, otherwise you're going to get bacon slot grease all over your oven. My suggestion would be to line that cookie sheet with lots of aluminum foil so you don't get it stuck to the cookie sheet. And it'll cook both sides at the same time. But like I said, it's only about 400 degrees for only about 10 minutes because you don't want to cook it completely. Then you're going to take your shrimp. Put it on skewers. Uh, you're going to dip it. You're going to wrap it in each skewer. There's four shrimp on a skewer, uh, or three shrimp on a skewer. Excuse me. Mm. And you're going to wrap each skewer in bacon. Then you're going to dip it in your beaten eggs. Then you're going to dip it in flour, forgot to mention the flour, and your salt and your pepper, and then you're going to coat it with breadcrumbs. Uh, and then you're going to uh, put three shrimp and one strip of bacon on each skewer. Now I have some wooden skewers that will be good for this. Uh, and then you're going to pan fry this in shallow oil. And then you're going to serve it on the toast, smeared with 
the butter. Let me tell you now what goes in the butter. You have half a pound of butter, two sticks. And you're going to have to leave this out and let it completely uh, room temperature kind of soften up really good. You're going to put in three, te three teaspoons of parsley flakes. I should go out and pick fresh, but I'm just not moving. Then you're going to go with three tablespoons of lemon juice, or if you have a fresh lemon, which I don't have any of today, you're going to use the juice of one lemon. But if you're using a concentrated orange juice, three tablespoons. And then you're going to put in a teaspoon of good old-fashioned, what's this here, so Worcestershire sauce. And then you're when the... Uh, When that's all mixed, you're going to melt it, the butter, you're going to melt it, and as you serve each skewer, you're going to pour some of this butter mixture on the skewer, which is on top of the toast. Now, we're also making a vegetable with this. We're just making some roasted asparagus. No big deal. It's how we always roast our asparagus. Uh, if you want, you can contact me, and I'll tell you how to do that. That's good stuff. So anyway, that's all that you need for this char recipe. Uh, well, that's it for now. And we'll get back to you when we start the cooking. Oh, well, we will already have the bacon uh, roasted and cooled and ready to go. Uh, so that way you don't have to sit here and twiddle your thumbs for 10 minutes while I'm roasting bacon. That'll already be done. You're basically going to see on video the assembly and everything going. So I think that's it for right now. And we'll get back to you when we start this process up. Okay, guys, here we are. We're going to get started. First, you have to take your flour. And you need a quarter of a cup of flour. We're going to go with that. If I throw some away, I throw some. And what you're going to do with this is then here you're going to mix your salt and your pepper. What are you doing with the pepper? There's the pepper. There's the salt. Wait for a minute. And you're going to mix a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. Once I get the salt in. Now 
what you're going to do is you are going to When we get started with that, we're going to, oh, I've also taken, I've taken eight skewers and I've cut them because we're only putting three shrimp on a skewer, wrapping it in bacon, and then dipping that in this mix and frying it. So that's it for that. Now you need to put the butter together. We have a bowl, and this butter has to be softened. Two sticks of butter. Oh, damn it. to put a tablespoon of your parsley flakes. The recipe says three teaspoons, that's a tablespoon. juice, you need three tablespoons. Come here. Three tablespoons of your lemon juice. And then a teaspoon of your Worcestershire sauce. Come here. Over your bear. A teaspoon. And what you have to do is grab a fork. kind of whip this together. Now I'm putting it in a bowl here because after you kind of whip this together to serve it on the shrimp it has to be melted. And I see if I'd have had my head on straight I'd have got out my hand my uh, electric hand mixer and beaten this stuff with it. We're going to take a little shortcut here and hope it works. And just melt it. Now we're going to put it in the microwave to melt. With a plate on top of the bowl so it doesn't... Uh... Okay. <coughs> and uh, for right now, that's about it. I've got oil on the stove ready to start. What I'm going to do is I will... I always get a smear of butter on my glasses. I am going to uh, cut the video for a while and I'll get the first, say, five of these done and I'll do the other three online. On, on film. That way you can see how they're done. So, uh, we'll be back in just a little bit. Okay, I've got four of these made. 
here's the last four. Take your skewer. Skewer through your shrimp to make sure it stays on there. Again, these skewers have been cut down a little bit because they're really like 13 inch skewers and we don't need that much skewer. Separating a little bit. Okay. Dump them in the flour. Get them good and coated with the flour. Then you take them over to the egg and you swish them around in the egg. Make sure they all get egged up really nice. Then over to the breadcrumbs and you just make sure you have breadcrumbs all over the shrimp. And then once you do that, you take a piece of your partially cooked bacon, which will, now, you're supposed to wrap these in the bacon, but the bacon will probably shrink on you a little bit while you're pre-cooking it, so you're not going to get a very good wrap. It doesn't matter, it's going in the fryer anyway. And you just keep doing this until you get all eight skewers done. And after we do that, we're going to take a little break while I start the asparagus and heat the oil, and then we'll be back. You have to also be careful not to uh, skewer yourself in the process. I have done that before. It is no fun. And the flour again, just to make sure you have a dusting of flour on the shrimp. In the egg wash. In the eggs, and make sure they're well coated with egg. And then the bread. And then the breadcrumbs. And then you take a piece of bacon. The bacon broke. Here, let me zoom in. Move the camera a little bit. And zoom in on this process so you guys can see it. There. Now you'll be able to see it a little clearer. Now if I can only get around the camera. Okay. Oops, crap. Be careful stepping around the camera. Shrimp on a skewer. In the flour, you want to get it nice and coated with flour. Knock off a little of the excess into the egg mix. Just it's just two beaten eggs, and they just. Okay. Yeah, it's like 
you just wish this around, get coated with eggs, over to here. Messy, especially on your hands. You do, your hands are yeah, gonna, your hands are gonna get a little messy, guys. four skewers a piece. Uh, if you really want this less complicated, I'll talk to Belinda about it too. Hmm. Uh, you uh -huh. might want to think about leaving off the bacon. So, because um, it's going to go right into a hot oil anyway. So. As you can see, it's it's hell trying to get this to wrap. Okay, well there you have eight skewers. Whoops, sorry. Kick the tripod trying to get over here. And those are going to go in hot oil, which I have to start. And after I start the uh, asparagus, so we'll be back when we're ready to do that. We'll see you in a few. Okay, here we go, folks. I need to grab a pair of tongs. And now you just have your oil heating. And we set these in there. You'll hear them bubbling and brewing and all that happy stuff. Let me see if I can move the camera and get a closer shot. Where you can actually see all this going on. There you go. That's a little better.
I've got to move this camera where you guys can see this. Excuse me for the weirdness in the shot here, folks. But we want to be able to see all this. Look at how nice and golden brown those bad boys are. That's perfect camera. Now these will cook pretty quick because your bacon, you know, is, has been pre-cooked a little bit. And your shrimp, well, your shrimp's already been cooked. So it doesn't take long for these to brown up, especially in hot oil. Just a minute or two on each side. And look at how nice and golden brown that is. I don't know if you, I hope you can see that. And then you set them on paper towels to drain. Oh my goodness. While the other four are cooking, we're going to put the toast down. So it'll be ready. Oh, that's pretty. That's a pretty camera shot right there. That's a pretty camera shot right there. In case you're wondering what happened to the extra two pieces of bacon, <laughs> we ate them. Oh, that's a gorgeous camera camera shot. Now let me get in and flip these over so you guys can see them. Oh my goodness, look at those cook up. Huh? Okay, let him. These are gonna be delicious. You should come here and smell them. Mm. Toast is down. That's some beautiful shrimp there, guys. Like I said, they're just... You just cook them until they're nice and brown, golden brown. And then flip them a couple of times just to get that bacon all cooked. Now the second batch is taking a little longer. Ah, the toast is up. Well, and those are ready to eat. Hot, hot, hot toast, hot toast, hot toast coming through. Okay, we're going to pretty much, these are pretty much done. Yes, they certainly are, Daddy. They certainly are. Those are certainly done. Okay, pulling this off. Now, we'll come over here. And we'll plate this up. Ooh, too much zoom. A little too much zoom. There. Oop, little, not enough. Okay. And the asparagus is done. 
good. Let me get a little asparagus on each plate before I get the shrimp and the butter sauce. In case you're wondering about the asparagus, it's just roasted with olive oil, balsamic vinegar, and steak seasoning. And it's very yummy looking. Can I change this? Yes, you can, but are you ready to eat? Yeah, I am. I can eat. Okay. Let me go check that washing machine real quick. Okay. Here's what the butter sauce looks like all melted, guys. Anyway, there you have it. <coughs> the New York Central's brochette of sh the New York Central's brochette of shrimp on toast with the maitre d'hôtel butter sauce. If you, as usual, if you wouldn't mind, if you like this video, smash that like button. And if you haven't already, please, please, please subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, or want a copy of the recipe, email me at dinnerfromthedininghar at yahoo.com. Oh, and in case you're wondering what are those white specks on the asparagus, well, I couldn't find my shredded uh, parmesan. So that's goat cheese. <laughs> we'll see if that turns out. Anyway, thanks for coming along. Have yourself a wonderful night. And we will see you when we see you.